If the defendants can please stand. For purposes of the record, I have reviewed all of the exhibits that were admitted. In the punishment phase of this case, I have reviewed the pre-sentence investigation report and the tab evaluation of each of the defendants. Is there any legal reason we cannot proceed to sentencing today? No, on behalf of Mr. Yes, and Mr. Um, Mr. Rodriguez could not be here, right? Yes, Mr. Moreno standing here. Yes, Mr. Moreno. Any objection, or you want to proceed with Mr. Moreno with Schneider? Okay. What happened to Mr. Najera was an unspeakable horror that is going to resonate in our community for a very long time. Unlike any other cases I have presided over, this one is different. It is different because we're not dealing with an intentional act. We're not dealing with a drive-by shooting or any other type of murder. It was a case of criminally negligent behavior. On the one hand, we have the city of San Antonio Animal Care Services swearing under oath giving testimony that left me with the impression that this was about a missing affidavit, that none of the previous bite victims came forward to declare the dogs dangerous dogs. After hearing from the neighbors on Decla and Darby Street, I find the testimony I heard from the city of San Antonio very difficult to believe. What I do believe is the people from the West Side neighborhood. I find the testimony of David Avila, Fernanda Esparza, Deborah Flores, Sylvia Avila, not only credible, but very persuasive and compelling. The city of San Antonio is not on trial here and they will have their day in court and their lawsuit to contend with. But about this case, what I do have to say is that it's not about a missing affidavit. <coughs> Clearly, our city has a lot of work to do to provide services to deal with responsible dog ownership. To echo what most, if not all, the witnesses testified to, this was preventable. If the first line of defense fails because the dog owners are not responsible, the second line of defense should not have failed. Mr. Moreno, Ms. Schneider, this is about responsible dog ownership. It involves not only taking care of your dog, but ensuring the safety of the people in our neighborhoods, in our communities, not only the people, but other pets in the neighborhood and communities. We all have that responsibility to each other, and you failed at that. Mr. Moreno, it is the order of the court that you will be sentenced to 18 years confinement in the Texas Department of Criminal Justice Institutional Division. There is a $5,000 fine, no restitution. The victim has not requested restitution. You are prohibited from owning or possessing any dogs if you make parole on this case. This is a plea bargain case. However, um, you have the right to appeal the rulings of the court on a pretrial order. Ms. Schneider, your sentence is 15 years confinement in the Texas Department of Criminal Justice Institutional Division. There is a $5,000 fine, no restitution because Ms. Najera does not want it. You two are prohibited from owning or possessing any dogs if you make parole. Both of you are also ordered to have no contact with Debla Street and Darby Street. Yours is also a plea bargain case. However, you have the right to appeal the rulings of pretrial rulings of the court. Do we have any impact statements? We do, Your Honor. Line them all up, and let's get started. You're remanded to the custody of the sheriff to begin your sentence. <laughs> 